there's two people that I want to introduce you to. And it's two people that I'm getting to know really, really well over these first 17 days of this challenge. And it's two people that I don't think that many of you have ever, ever truly met. And that is these two people, the winner and the quitter in you. See, you gotta push yourself further than you've ever gone before to the end of yourself. And that's when you get introduced to. That's when you meet face to face with the winner and the quitter in you. And these things aren't like indefinite periods of time. Like if I'm gonna go for a run, I know how long I'm gonna run or I know how far I'm gonna go. And I know I'm not gonna die. <laughs> and, and so if I know I'm gonna go run for 45 minutes, then I know how long I have until it's done. And I know that I can push myself to intense pain and discomfort, but it's gonna be over in 15 minutes. And so why not go all out on this last mile when it's gonna be done after that? Like, what's gonna happen? I'm not gonna die. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be fine. Uh, I think a lot of people, they set out after goals and there's no timeline to it. There's no benchmarks. There's no goals set in place to reward themselves. So when I get here, this is gonna happen. When I get here, this is gonna happen. It's just like, I'm gonna go be successful. <laughs> And they've never yeah. defined success. That's yeah. Why, at what level? Mm -hmm. How successful? All those you can do. You can. Are. You can do anything for a period of time. And what you'll find is when you do that and you go to do it again, you realize you can do more, or you can do it faster, or you can do it better, or you can be more efficient. But you need that benchmark in order to know how more, how much more efficient you are in that second round. Yeah, and I mean David Goggins, you know, he talks about callousing the mind. And you know, he's as motivating as anybody out there right now and the stuff that he's doing. But he talks about callousing the mind. And to me, every time I do that, like every time I have 15 minutes left and I go absolutely as hard as I possibly can for those 15 minutes, it makes the next time I go out to do it that much easier. But that doesn't mean the next time you go do it that you just do the same thing and it's easier. Now it's what can I do further or how can I do it faster? Or how can I do more? And I think that's life. Like that's, that's, that's what we ultimately want in life is to figure out how to become the best versions of ourselves. And it's only by putting ourselves in those situations that we are able to get there. Like that post I did the other day uh, after a run where I talked about, you know, pushing yourself to the point that to the end of yourself to where you meet the winner and the quitter in you. If you never meet that person, then you don't know what you're, what you're capable of. You don't know if when you get there, if you will quit or if you will push forward. Most people just don't push themselves to that point to ever even get to that, that intersection.